Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be showing you how to read the piping isometric drawings, how to calculate elevations, northeast points, and how to read bill of materials in the isometric drawings. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more like useful video before starting this tutorial video. Also, we prepared a 3D model of this pipeline and put the 3D model together with the pipe drawing for you easy reading and understand piping isometric drawing. This pipeline number is 1DTSEZ0190-1. Let's start first to learn bill of materials for use fabrication of this pipeline. This table for bill of fabrication materials. Materials description shows on this column. The materials sizes show in this column and the materials quantities show in this column. Now let's learn the name and number of pipe fittings used in the pipeline. Item number 1 is shown in several places on the pipe drawings. Now let's look at the fabrication materials list. Item number 1 is pipe, seamless, schedule XXS, stainless steel ASDM, A312, grade TP316, sizes 2 inches, the quantity is 2 meters. Item number 2 is shown in two places on the pipe drawings. Now let's look at the fabrication materials list. Item number 2 is weld neck flange, RTJ ring type joint, class 2500, schedule XXS, stainless steel ASTM, A182, grade F316, sizes 2 inches, the quantity is 2 pieces. Item number 3 is shown in 4 places on the piping isometric drawings. Now let's look at the fabrication materials list. Item number 3 is elbow, 90 degree, long radius, schedule is XXS, stainless steel ASTM, A403, grade is WP316, size is 2 inches, the quantity is 4 pieces. The reading bill of materials in the piping isometric drawing successfully completed. Now, let's learn arrows showing the directions in the piping isometric drawing. Knowing this direction well helps us read the piping drawings. There are six directions here. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction. Down direction. The person reading the drawing should imagine himself facing north, provided that he is in the center of these directions. We will start to read this pipe drawing from this point. The pipeline starts from this flange and extends upwards, a length 1,533 mm. In this point, the pipeline turns to northwards with a 90-degree elbow and continue a length 324 mm. Then, pipeline turns to upwards with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length 256 mm. In this point, the pipeline again turns to northwards with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length 502 mm. At last, the pipeline turns to the eastwards with a 90 degree elbow and continue a length of 1076 mm. And reading piping isometric drawing also successfully completed. Now, let's learn elevations showing in the piping isometric drawing. As you can see, the elevation of the starting point of the pipeline is 20,717 mm. After the pipeline rose 1,533 mm upwards, the elevation was 22,250 mm. We can easily check the correctness of this elevation. 20717 plus 1533 equal is 22,250 mm. 
Then the pipeline goes up 256 mm again at this point and the elevation of this point is shown as 22,506 mm. We can easily check again the correctness of this elevation. 22250 plus 256 equal is 22,506 mm. After this elevation, the pipeline continues horizontally. Accordingly, the elevation of the last point will be 22,506 mm. Now, let's check north and east points showing in the piping isometric drawing. The north of the starting point of the pipeline is shown as 501751 mm. The pipeline first traveled 324 mm towards the north and then 502 mm. We can easily calculate the north of the last point of the pipeline. 501751 plus 324 plus 502 equal is 502,577 mm. Now, let's check east point showing in the piping isometric drawing. The east of the starting point of the pipeline is shown as 610,355 mm. The pipeline traveled 1076 mm towards the east. We can easily calculate the east of the last point of the pipeline. 610355 plus 1076 equal is 611,431 mm. In today's video, we learned what the elevation, north and east points shown in the pipe drawings mean. By using this method, you can easily check elevations in the any piping isometric drawings. By watching the 3D view of this pipeline, it will be easier to read and understand the isometric drawing of this pipeline. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. Your ideas are very interesting for us. You can watch like those videos by entering the links in the description below of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel. Your support is very important for us. Let's not miss the comments and likes my friends. If there are topics you want to watch, write to us in the comments. We will prepare and publish new videos on the subject. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Take care.